Yeah, today the hearing revisited the death of the three year old and examined what role Richard Fairchild's brain damage played in that. Members were not swayed by that to grant a clemency recommendation. No. Clemency is denied. Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board voted against a clemency recommendation for Richard Fairchild. Fairchild has been on death row for the 1993 killing of his girlfriend's three year old son, Adam Broomhall. Today, the Toddler's family pleaded with board members to stop re victimizing. You know, they say that justice delayed is justice denied. And all my family wants to do now <laughs> is heal. So I beg that you allow us to do that. Lawyers representing Fairchild argued he should not be executed because of his mental illness. A neuropsychologist who has seen Fairchild for the past 20 years spoke to this. I've seen him get worse. He has deteriorated. At the same time, he has told me for 20 years that he wakes up every morning and says a prayer for Adam and wishes that he hadn't been an alcoholic. His attorneys say he was raised in an abusive household with substance use and that his brain damage was not brought up during his trial. Larry Morris? Yes. This argument swayed one board member, Larry Morris, who voted to grant clemency. The four remaining board members voted against the recommendation. Oklahoma's attorney general released a statement praising the board's decision. While chair of the Oklahoma Coalition to abolish the death penalty said today was not justice, but retribution, saying the board chose to respond to violence with more violence. Now, Governor Stitt could step in, but he's never taken action or stepped in when clemency wasn't recommended. Now, Fairchild is set to be executed on November 17th.